Hello and welcome to BQ Prime. A very good morning to all the viewers. I'm Hiral Tatia. Joining us on the show today is Mr. A.K. Prabhakar to discuss the movers and shakers in trade today. Mr. Prabhakar, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Hope you're doing well as, uh, as well. Yeah. Market is good, so we are good. Absolutely. So, Mr. Prabhakar, let's start with the Reliance Industries. That's one of the key stocks to focus on ahead of the AGM. What's your key expectation and what would you advise investors to do? You know, normally whenever Reliance AGM has happened, there will be a lot of announcement which will be coming. So, it, it is not going to be easy. It will be a very volatile market today when it comes to Reliance. So, no, there will be a lot of news flows. And the expectation is, you no know, few demerger might be announced today. So if that happens, you know, th that is very positive. So we are expecting few demerger de from the Reliance uh, pack, you know, retail pack mainly. And Geo Infocom is one more thing we expect. So if it happens, it is very positive. No, but we need to watch out for, you know, there, it is you now something which, you know, every year, like a cricket match, everybody watches this. Right. In fact, if you see the last three AGM dates as well, the gyrations on Reliance industry stock has been absolutely massive. Uh, in two out of the three AGMs, uh, the stock has ended in the negative, whereas uh, the AGM, which was in 2020, the stock ended with gains of almost 1.7%. Uh, 21 was around down 2.4%. And the in 22 cuts of around eight tenths of a percent so it's going to be an interesting aspect to watch out for simultaneously what would you advise for a geo financial services because now it is out of a lower circuit uh, but the gyrations are pretty high would you advise a buy at current levels see you know you have to understand you know they, they are able to start the business the roadmap will be given the agm now for them to reach two lakh crore of AGM, it will take two years so you now at this valuation, I would you know give a skip. Now maybe you know after six months, I will look uh, look to buy it at current price, at current juncture. Without a roadmap, I will not buy this. Okay, moving on, you have LNT that is in focus as well on the back of the buyback. Would you advise investors to participate in the buyback? See, you know, LNT is one stock I would like to hold always. You know, see, you know, Chandrayaan landed, you know, you take, you know, metro, trains, India's infrastructure, poor shipbuilding, whatever you take, LNT is there. And, you know, that is something, you know, very positive for LNT. Now, buyback, you know, it depends. You know, but buyback is not something which is very value accredited. So, now I would advise to hold on to the stock in infrastructure space. It is one of the best. Right. Moving on, Zomato is another stock that is in focus as well. One is uh, the lock-in period has ended. Two is you have Zepto, which is an unlisted peer, which has already become a unicorn. And thirdly, uh, if you talk about the deliveries, uh, they are they are now charging uh, 3 rupees and 2 rupees in few areas. Uh, and this would actually entail that they hit profitability faster than anticipated. Uh, how are you looking at a Zomato and what would you advise investors to do? You know, these uh, you know, uh, stocks, it is very difficult to put a number to it. You know, they are making profit. But for the market cap, which they, it trades whether you know, at what percentage it is going to trade, what PE it is going to trade is huge. But you know, it is a unique stock. You know, entry barrier is huge. So somebody who has a risk appetite can buy Zomato. But somebody who is very conservative should avoid you know, Zomato. Right. So that's with regards to Zomato. Moving on. Rice stocks are in focus as well in today's session. And this is on the back of the 20% export duty on power ball rice as well as a minimum export price of $1,200 per ton that has been notified. Uh, what would this mean according to you for names like LT Foods and KRPL? And what would you advise investors to do? So this rice uh, duty is for you know non basmati rice if I understand it right. So no and you know these companies have a huge inventory of basmati rice and there is no ban on basmati rice and valuations are very attractive. So I don't think it will have a major impact. And when you get a higher price for your basmati rice due to ban on other rice item, I think that is going to be positive. You know KRBL 
trades at you know 12 times lt put also valuation is very attractive and you know i think you know these are good stock to buy for a long term investor right BML has been in focus today, Mr. Prabhakar, and this is on the back of the twenty million dollar export order from Russia. Uh, how would you look at a BML? See, you know, BML, you know, the valuation is not very, you know, attractive. You no, know, it trades more than fifty-four times trailing fee. You no, know, and the order book in the last few years have come down, but you no, know, their order execution has been very good. You no, know, fifty percent comes from Russia. railways you no know, 20 to 22 percent comes from defense and other engineering is balanced so you now defense you uh, know now you know taking more order is you no know, that is positive but you know valuation comfort is not there so i would give a skip in bm right another interesting counter is a lind a india wherein the company has crossed 6000 and this is the second order that they've got in a week uh is it still good times to buy the stock or would you advise investors to wait linde the market cap is more than 50000 crores mm-hmm. and it trades at 130 pe trailing so it is not a cheap stock but mnc company and you know they are moving into lot of other fields you know which is very positive for a long term but if you take last five years growth you know it is in the high single digit you know so that in, doesn't interest me but for a long term investor who has time you know who looks for hydrogen and you know ev and other space i think you know linde can be a good bet but for me the valuation is bit expensive i will give a skip there also right what about a bharat electronics again in focus on the back of an order win what do valuation stack up and tell you the bharat electronics compared to other defense stock is valued attractively it trades at 30 times and you know yesterday also they informed they saying that they have got some orders so in this year you know they committed that they will get 20000 crores of orders of which almost 11000 crores is already there you know, and we are not even 6 months so i think another one month is there to go so 50 per more than 50% of the order is taken in the first 5 months i think you know bm bl will surpass in their order intake if they can expedite their execution then this is one stock i still feel there is valuation comfort right garden reach ship builders that has been in focus as well today the stock hit a 52 week high and this is after the company entered into a deal with depo group to launch a collaboration model to build commercial vehicles in three premier shipyards in goa and bhavnagar Uh, the stock has also run up quite a bit. What's your view on a Garden Reach? The valuation wise, Garden Reach is still attractive, and you know their order book already has been you know almost twenty five thousand, twenty four, twenty five thousand crores. So you know I'm not very sure you know, but it should be around twenty four, twenty five thousand crores. Now they are moving away from defense and you know internal security. So I think this is very positive, and you know commercial. uh ship building is something where india lacks and uh, you know if uh, grsc with tie up if they can do very good then that is going to be very positive for grsc right moving on if you see in terms of nmdc steel uh, the nagarnar steel plant has churned out hot rolled coil in 9 days flat and that is something which they have created history as well now nmdc steels this investment process is also something that could pick up after commissioning of the plant that's what people are talking about what's your view in 3 million ton uh, no plant no and uh, no, whatever they have spent 24000 crores or odd they have spent you know uh, but you know the advantage is you no know, few companies might be interested because the iron ore is there but you know tata steel in their con call said we will not you know it doesn't make sense for us so you know we need to know who is going to bid for this so you know nmdc steel already you know once the commissioning has happened there is a run up in the stock so you know and steel as a sector might see a slowdown so i would go a skip in nmdc steel also 
Right. So that's with regards to NMDC Steel. Thank you, Mr. Prabhakar, so much for joining us on the show and giving us your views on the movers and shakers uh, in trade today. But clearly, if you see from a market perspective as well, it is a volatile ride, but we are pretty much slightly above the 19,300 levels. But we are trying to inch towards the day's highs as well. Let's see how sustainable that's going to be. Uh, in terms of advanced decline ratio as well, uh, the, it's favoring the advances, interestingly. Geo Financial Services is now the top gainer, followed by Sipla, BPCL, LNT, and the Sun Pharma. Whereas on the losing end, you have Adani Enterprises. Bajaj Twins are now trading under pressure. Adani Ports, as well as HCL Tech, is another one that is down in trade. Uh, Bank Nifty as well, that is uh, in the positive, but underperforming the benchmark indices in trade as we speak. That's all that we have on this session. Thanks for watching, and lots more lined up on the other side. Please stay tuned to Beaky Prime.